Psoriasis is an autoimmune chronic skin disorder, represented in this pigmonic by the sorcerer. Patients show thickened skin because of epidermal hyperproliferation of keratinocytes, the keratin proliferating. Psoriasis is often described by having defined red salmon-colored plaques, illustrated as the red salmon plaques with plaques. Classically, silvery scales overlie psoriatic plaques, shown as the silvery scales, and these are typically seen on extensor surfaces like the knees and elbows, illustrated by the extended arm with extensor surfaces. Furthermore, the plaques seen in psoriasis display bleeding when removed or picked off, depicted by the blood, and this is referred to as Auspitz sign, the owl spits. Patients also complain that these lesions are pruritic or itchy, shown as the prairie dog, and another symptom is nail changes, the nail, which manifest as color changes, pitting, and separation from the nail bed. Histologically, diagnosis is aided when Monroe microabscesses are seen, the Maryland Monroe abscesses, which are described as collections of neutrophils in the stratum corneum. We also see nucleated cells in the stratum corneum, depicted as the nucleated cornfield, which are retained keratinocyte nuclei, termed parakeratosis. Remember that in psoriasis, there is an absence of stratum granulosum too. Treatment for psoriasis includes vitamin A-derived retinoids, the red tindroid, along with topical corticosteroids, the topical quarter on steroids. A helpful adjunct to corticosteroids is tar, shown literally, which is used in the form of shampoos, lotions, creams, and oils. Finally, patients with progressed psoriatic disease may require immunosuppressants, illustrated as the moon suppressed. So very quickly, psoriasis occurs when there is epidermal hyperproliferation of keratinocytes. The lesions in this disease are defined red salmon-colored plaques, which often have silvery scales. These are most often found on the extensor surfaces and bleed when picked at or removed, a phenomenon termed Auspitz sign. These plaques are pruritic, and patients also have associated nail changes. Histologically, we see Monroe microabscesses along with nucleated cells in the stratum corneum. Treatment includes retinoids and topical corticosteroids, which are often used in addition to tar. Progressed disease may require immunosuppressants. The moon is out, and the all-powerful sorcerer of psoriasis is at the height of his power. And, well, all-powerful might be a bit of an overstatement, because he really only has one power. The overproduction of keratins as psoriasis causes hyperproliferation of keratinocytes. And he'll need as many of these little minions as he can overproduce, because it seems someone has stolen his prized salmon plaque. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, lock in the rest of the skin disorder Picmonics. We've got a huge amount of the content you need to remember. Everything from atopic dermatitis, vitiligo, psoriasis, and much, much more. So see how hundreds of thousands of students like yourself have figured out how to save time and have fun doing it. So you can lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and space repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.